Welcome to this week's edition of Mountain Outhouse. I'm your host, Jam Jam. This is the craziest shit to happen in running this week. This week's stories include a new woman's 100 mile world record, a pair of Grand Canyon FKTs, she did it folks, Camille Heron, after dropping from her first two 100 mile attempts this summer at Western States and Leadville, found her groove on the Rails to Trails Tunnel Hill 100 in Illinois, where she won the race outright in 12, 42, 39. That's 12 hours, 42 minutes, 39 seconds. The flat, smooth gravel course is also a USATF certified road course, making it record eligible. Her time was over an hour faster than Gina Slaby's previous record set at the 2016 Desert Solstice 100. Second place overall was Mike Bialik, who had an incredible race as well, finishing a hair over 13 hours in 13.02. This was just 10 minutes slower than his 2015 win time. We saw a couple of new FKTs in the Grand Canyon over the past week by some stellar ladies, as first, Alicia Vargo broke the single crossing record by running a three hour 19 minute 23 second, which was 27 minutes under Bethany Lewis's record from 2011. Alicia was accompanied by Ida Nilsson and Christy Connect, who also bested Bethany's time and were one and two minutes back of Alicia. On the heels of that, we just saw 2017 Western States 100 champ Kat Bradley smash the rim to rim to rim record, finishing in seven hours, 52 minutes after her third lifetime I attempt at the FKT. Damn, the ladies are absolutely crushing it right now. Which reminds me, our Ultra Womance of the Year nominations are coming up fast. We'll be announcing the nominees and opening up voting in the next couple weeks. This week in clean sport, WADA is removing CBD or cannabidiol from the list of banned substances in 2018. Natural cannabinoids such as cannabis, hashish, and marijuana are still banned, as well as synthetic ones like THC and cannabimimetics. I have no idea. Charmin Ultra coach and ultra runner Ian Charmin has a new training tip for all you outhouse viewers. It involves quick feet and a little bit of goose poo. Go to your nearest poo covered park path and dodge away. It apparently simulates the nimble footing required for trail running. We'll get back to you on the effectiveness soon. The Mountain Ultra Trail Council arm of USATF is calling for nominations for the Runner of the Year or ROY. To be eligible, athletes must be a member of USATF and nominated under a slew of categories. Some categories include Ultra Trail Runner of the Year or Utrodi, Sub Ultra Trail Runner of the Year or Sutrodi, Road Ultra Runner of the Year, or Rurodi. There is one more at the very bottom that I just might qualify for myself called Mutt Contributor of the Year. Not sure the qualifications, but feel free to go nominate over on the Google Doc linked below. Corey Belmore has done it again, folks. The Beer Mile reigning champ has again smashed it, this time running a four minute, 33 second Beer Mile, taking a full second off his previous best time. This time it was set with a packed stadium during the halftime show of a soccer match, making it all that much more exciting. This makes us wonder, just how low can the record go? And are we nearing the absolute limit of possibilities on the beer mile? What are your thoughts? If you'd just woken up from being in a coma for the past five years, there is no way that you'd recognize the fastest American marathoner of all time, Ryan Hall. Here he is crushing some 100 pound dumbbells, NBD. This tweet from Josh Cox at Dick's HQ shows Ryan repping the second skin gear in total beast mode. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. If you have crazy stories to share or have a clip of you dodging goose poo, tweet us or dip into our Instagram DMs at Mountain Outpost. Have a shitty week. Huge thanks to our Patreon supporters for making this show possible. If you want to join, hit the link below. Also, be sure to check out the link below to own this one-of-a-kind pair of Jam Jam sunglasses. That's the end.